Stop everything because today something extraordinary is about to unfold and there's someone out there desperately trying to reach you. God wished to convey you about a mysterious situation. Prepare yourself for a surprising turn of events straight out of a cosmic drama. You've been inundated with incessant messages day and night because someone has uncovered a significant revelation brewing behind your back. Brace yourself for this plot twist, which involves your neighbor sabotaging all the good things in your life and posing a threat to your reputation. This neighbor is actively involved in spreading baseless rumors and lies about you, aiming to damage your good standing. Intrigued? Yep, the one next door, up to some bizarre stuff. Before proceeding, confirm your faith in God by replying yes. Remember, our lives are shaped by what we give, not just what we receive. While receiving is important, the essence of life is found in our acts of generosity. A modest donation of $40 has the power to provide nourishment for a child for multiple days. Prepare yourself, for there's a curious revelation stirring in the air. Your neighbor, it seems, may be weaving a web of misfortune aimed directly at you. It sounds like the plot of a fantastical tale, doesn't it? Imagine someone earnestly endeavoring to convey this news to you, their urgency palpable their message cryptic yet pressing. This revelation has ignited a spark of curiosity within me, prompting questions to dance in my mind. What could possibly have spurred your neighbor's sudden interest in casting curses? And why now of all times? And perhaps most intriguingly, what action or event on your part could have provoked such drastic measures? The messenger, blessed with insights from the universe, is on a mission to reach you. Armed with vital information that could unravel the enigma shrouding your neighbor's newfound penchant for curses. There's an undeniable sense of cosmic orchestration at play here. As if the universe itself is guiding us toward the heart of this mystery, urging us to decipher the clues and put an end to any potential malevolent intentions emanating from your neighbor's abode. It's a journey into the unknown a quest to untangle the threads of fate woven around you. Are you prepared to embark on this odyssey with me, to delve deep into the swirling vortex of intrigue that surrounds us? For I believe that with the guidance of the universe and the determination in our hearts, we can shed light on this shadowy conundrum and restore harmony to your world. Heed the whispers of providence, for they carry warnings of impending doom. Someone, it seems, is tirelessly attempting to reach out to you, day and night, their purpose shrouded in mystery yet undoubtedly urgent. The divine hand of fate is at work, signaling that dark omens loom on the horizon, threatening to disrupt the delicate balance of your existence. There exists a woman, a harbinger of negativity, who casts her malevolent gaze upon you. It is imperative that we address her influence swiftly, for she taints the very air you breathe with her foreboding aura. Her actions sow seeds of discord, creating an atmosphere fraught with tension and unease. This pervasive negativity weighs heavy upon your soul, draining your vitality and clouding your thoughts with doubt and despair. But fear not, for the universe has guided us together on this path, illuminating the way forward. Together, we shall confront the darkness that seeks to engulf you, banishing it with the light of truth and righteousness. Trust in the divine plan that unfolds before us, for it is through faith and perseverance that we shall emerge victorious against the forces of darkness that threaten to consume us. Despite feeling a sense of kinship towards her, almost considering her a member of your extended family, your neighbor harbors sinister intentions towards you. Despite her outwardly warm demeanor and engaging conversations, she harbors hidden agendas. Beneath her facade of kindness lies a self-serving nature. Though she may seem pleasant in your presence, she consistently seeks to undermine you when others are around. She has shown a disregard for your feelings, causing deep wounds on sensitive matters and eroding your trust. Her lack of respect extends to plotting against you, even involving your own children in her schemes. 
your happiness triggers impulsive jealousy within her. Despite any appearances of neighborly camaraderie, she has never truly embraced you as a valued member of the community. Instead, she has mistreated and disrespected you. Even in moments of apparent helpfulness, her heart remains unaffected, unwilling to acknowledge any wrongdoing on her part. Every time you have strived for something, she has placed obstacles in your path. Her relentless scheming against you leaves no avenue unexplored, as she ceaselessly plots to ensnare you in her malicious traps. In a quaint village nestled among rolling hills, there dwelled a woman named Leah, known for her outward kindness and readiness to aid her neighbors. Leah harbored a secret jealousy and bitterness towards Sarah, another villager. Sarah, a widow with two young children, inherited a bountiful orchard from her late husband, bringing prosperity not only to her family, but to the entire community. Unbeknownst to Sarah, Leah's heart seethed with envy, and she clandestinely plotted against her neighbor. Masking her true intentions behind a facade of friendship, Leah frequently visited Sarah, offering assistance while secretly casting spells and curses to bring misfortune upon Sarah's orchard and family. As time went on, strange and troubling events began to afflict Sarah's once thriving orchard. Crops failed, trees sickened, and livestock fell ill, leaving Sarah bewildered and desperate for answers. Turning to the village elder renowned for his wisdom, Sarah sought guidance. Through prayer and meditation, the elder received divine insight into Leah's deceitful actions and malicious desires. Armed with this revelation, Sarah confronted Leah, demanding an explanation. Caught off guard, Leah confessed to her envy and the harm she had caused out of spite. Moved by Sarah's capacity for forgiveness, Leah renounced her dark deeds and sought redemption through acts of genuine kindness. Through Sarah's grace, Leah found the path to healing, and harmony was restored to the village. This tale serves as a testament to the transformative power of forgiveness and compassion, illustrating how they can mend even the deepest wounds and bring about reconciliation. Today, the Divine reassures you that your guardian angel stands vigilantly by your side, guiding you through life's trials. They advise caution in your interactions with your neighbor, whose presence may sap the joy from your life. Yet, they also promise that your path to happiness and success will soon become clear, dispelling internal conflicts and misunderstandings. Peace and optimism will envelop your family, fostering stronger bonds among your children and deepening love and respect for you. Misunderstandings will dissolve, and those who once harbored animosity or mistreated you will offer sincere apologies. Your life will once again be adorned with beauty, joy, charm, and love. Every facet of your existence will flourish as doors of prosperity and opportunity swing open wide. Angels will bestow upon you stable financial wealth and improved physical well-being, showering your journey with abundance and prosperity. Prepare yourself to accept these blessings graciously, for the divine is ready to pour out their favor upon you. However, someone came along and persuaded you that you didn't need anyone else in your life. They convinced you that you were better off alone, that others would only hinder you and bring you down. This person was convincing, and they succeeded in convincing you of their perspective. Today, the Father declares His love as a banner over you, where love never falters. Everything under this banner resides in a zone of assured success, Fear not the days ahead, but await them with eager anticipation. For the Lord your God has ordained them with purpose and grace. Just as his banner fluttered proudly over the ancient armies of Israel, it now overshadows your life, symbolizing victory and steadfast protection, akin to a mighty eagle soaring on the wind. For the year 2024, his presence, like the shadow of that eagle, will always be upon you guarding your steps and shielding you from harm. He is Jehovah Nissi, your banner of triumph, your unyielding shield. Reflect on the tales of angels, 
unseen warriors of heaven who fight on behalf of those who trust in him. Your essence serves as a rallying point for them. Their whispers will guide your decisions, their presence will comfort you, and their hands will protect you when darkness looms. When the world disappoints you, when comforters turn away, and when stability seems elusive, do not fear. The Father is your anchor, your unwavering rock. Though friends may fail and family may drift, His hand remains steady, holding you firm throughout the storm. Yet, harbor no bitterness towards those who neglect or disappoint you. Forgive them, releasing expectations and wounds into His care. He will heal, mend, and carry you through. At times, you may find yourself leading the charge, inspiring others despite differing beliefs. Even loved ones may falter, but He will never forsake you. He is your steadfast companion, ever present aid. Trust in His word, His love, and His power. For a season of abundance, fulfillment, and swift manifestation awaits. Courageously walk alongside Him, allowing His grace and purpose to unfold within you. Know this, your standing in His kingdom is not earned, but bestowed through His righteousness. It is His righteousness that empowers His work in your life. Embrace this righteousness, for it clothes you in purity and qualifies you for His blessings. Your sins are forgiven, your past erased, and you are made anew in Christ Jesus. Step out in faith, for He is with you always, guiding and empowering you to fulfill His purposes. Imagine embarking on a journey through an unknown landscape, where each step forward is an act of faith and each breath a whisper of hope. This journey is not marked by the visible challenges of towering peaks or vast oceans, but by the internal battles that we face. It is marked by the moments of doubt, fear, and uncertainty that cloud our path. Yet, it is in these very moments that a profound truth emerges, a beacon of hope in the darkness. God is for us. He is the compass that guides us, the light that illuminates our path, and the strength that carries us forward. Today, we will delve into understanding how to find strength in the Lord and be assured that He will never fail us. I am also going to pray a powerful prayer with you in the mighty name of Jesus. So watch until the end and open your hearts to receive the blessings of this prayer. In Isaiah 41 verse 10, we find a promise that anchors us. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. This verse is not just a comforting thought. It is the very essence of God's promise to us, an assurance that no matter the journey, we are never alone. Together, we will discover the means to navigate life's uncertainties, fortified by the knowledge that God's presence is ever with us. Now, as we journey through life, we often encounter terrains that test our faith and resolve. These moments filled with uncertainty can make us feel as though we are journeying through a thick fog, each step uncertain, each decision filled with the potential for misstep or the risk of error. Yet, it is precisely in these moments of vulnerability that God's promise to be with us, to guide and strengthen us, becomes most tangible. Life's journey is unpredictable. We face challenges that seem insurmountable, problems that appear unsolvable, and questions that seem unanswerable. It is in these times when the fog of uncertainty surrounds us that the weight of our own weakness becomes most apparent. However, it is also in these times that the strength of God's presence shines brightest. The story of David and Goliath is told in 1 Samuel 17 verse 45 serves as a powerful reminder of this truth. Facing a giant, David declared, You come to me with a sword, with a spear, and with a javelin. But I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. David's confidence did not stem from his own capabilities, but from his faith in God's power. Like David, we are called to face the giants in our lives not with fear, but with the assurance that God is with us, providing the strength we need to overcome. This journey through life, with its highs and lows, is not a journey taken alone, but a shared journey with God as our constant companion. His promise to be with us is not just a reassurance of presence, but an assurance of active support. 
In moments of weakness, he provides strength. In times of doubt, he offers faith. And in periods of turmoil, he grants peace. Philippians 4 verse 13 captures this beautifully. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. This verse is a testament to the transformative power of God's strength in our lives, a reminder that regardless of the challenges we face, we possess the capability to overcome them, not through our own might, but through the strength granted to us by Christ. As we navigate the uncertainties of life, let us remember that we do not walk alone. The fog of doubt and fear may at times cloud our path, but the light of God's presence is a constant guide. His word the compass that directs us, and his strength the foundation upon which we can build our resilience. In embracing this journey, let us draw near to God, seeking his guidance and strength in every step. Let us trust in his promise to be with us, to strengthen us, and to uphold us. And as we do so, let us find comfort in the knowledge that no matter the challenges we encounter, we are journeying with the Almighty God who never fails us. Let us now explore the practical implications of God's favor and guidance and how His presence empowers us to face life's adversities with strength and confidence. As we journey through life, it often feels as though we are navigating a vast, uncharted wilderness. The terrain is rough, the paths are unmarked, and the destination seems distant. It's in these moments of uncertainty and struggle that the presence of a guide can make all the difference, a guide who not only knows the way, but also walks with us, offering support, encouragement, and direction. This guide is God, and His promise to be with us is a testament to His unfailing support. Consider the words of Romans 8 verse 31, which boldly declares, What then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? This verse is not just a rhetorical question, it's a declaration of divine support. It reassures us that with God on our side, the challenges and adversaries that we face lose their power over us. The realization that the Creator of the heavens and the earth is for us should fill our hearts with courage and our steps with confidence. This simple truth changes everything. It means that no matter what we face, we are not overwhelmed because our God is bigger than our struggles. Knowing this, we can face anything, understanding that with God, we're always in a position of strength. This reassurance helps us stand firm no matter what comes our way, confident that we are never alone or without help. Now, this assurance of God being for us is not meant to suggest that our journey will be without challenge. Rather, it is a reminder that when we encounter obstacles, we do not face them alone. The battles we fight are fought with God's strength, and the victories we claim are won through His might. Just as a seasoned guide leads a traveler through treacherous terrain, God guides us, offering His wisdom and strength to navigate the complexities of life. The practical application of this truth is seen in our daily lives. When we face decisions that leave us perplexed, God's wisdom is available to guide us. When we encounter situations that threaten to overwhelm us, His strength is sufficient to sustain us. And when we feel isolated or abandoned, His presence is a constant companion, offering comfort and reassurance. But how do we tap into this divine support? The key lies in our relationship with God. Just as communication is vital between a traveler and their guide, so too is our communication with God. Prayer becomes the medium through which we express our fears, our hopes, and our needs. And it is through the study of His Word and the leading of the Holy Spirit that we gain insight into His character, His promises, and His will for our lives. Furthermore, the journey of faith is one that requires trust. Trust in God's timing, trust in His promises, and trust in His character. It is a trust that is built over time through experiences that testify to God's faithfulness and goodness. Each challenge overcome and each need met serves as a milestone in our journey of faith, reinforcing our trust in God and His provision. This journey, though personal, is also shared. As believers, we are part of a community of faith, a family of fellow travelers who share the road with us. This community offers support, encouragement, and accountability reminding us that we are not alone in our journey. It is within this community that we find opportunities to share our stories, to celebrate our victories, and to encourage one another in times of struggle. 
As we reflect on the assurance that God is for us, let us also consider the response that it calls for from each of us. A response of faith, of trust, and of obedience. The faith that God is who He says He is, the trust that He will do what He has promised, and the obedience to His guidance and commandments. It is through this response that we experience the fullness of God's support and guidance in our lives. Therefore, let us carry with us the assurance that God is indeed for us. Let this truth anchor us in times of uncertainty, strengthen us in times of weakness, and guide us in times of decision. For with God on our side, we have nothing to fear. We really don't. Remember, the devil is a liar. Let us move forward in faith, confident in the knowledge that no matter what we face, we do not face it alone. God is with us, He is for us, and through Him, we are more than conquerors. We will now turn our attention to the transformative power of embracing God's strength in our lives. Throughout the course of our daily lives, we encounter various forms of adversity, moments that test our faith, challenge our resolve, and sometimes threaten to overwhelm us. It's in these moments that the true depth of our reliance on God is revealed. The realization that our strength alone is insufficient is not a cause for despair, but an invitation to lean fully into the strength that God provides. This reliance on divine strength is not a sign of weakness, but a testament to our understanding of where our true power lies. The Apostle Paul's words in 2 Corinthians 12 verses 9 to 10 serve as a profound reminder of this truth. He said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, most gladly I will rather boast in my infirmities, that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Therefore I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproaches, in needs, in persecutions, in distresses, for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then I am strong. This seemingly contradictory statement highlights the core of Christian strength. We do not take pride in our own power, but in God's. Our weaknesses and obstacles turn into opportunities for God's strength and grace to shine through in our lives. Embracing God's strength requires a shift in perspective. It means viewing our challenges through the lens of faith, recognizing that with God, no obstacle is insurmountable. This shift doesn't negate the reality of our struggles, but places them in the context of God's greater power and purpose. Again, it's an acknowledgement that our journey through life is not undertaken alone, but in collaboration with the divine, where our efforts are enhanced and completed by God's power. This divine partnership empowers us to approach life's battles with a different mindset. Instead of being overwhelmed by the magnitude of our challenges, we are encouraged by the knowledge that God is with us, fighting for us, and through Him, we have victory. And remember, this doesn't mean we won't face difficulties or that our faith won't be tested. What it does mean is that in the midst of our battles, we have a source of strength that is inexhaustible, a well of courage that never runs dry, and a promise of victory that is certain. Living in the strength that God provides also has a profound impact on how we relate to others. It compels us to move beyond our limitations and to act with compassion, courage, and conviction. As we experience God's strength in our lives, we are motivated to be agents of His love and grace in the world around us. Our battles, once seen as personal struggles, become opportunities to testify to God's power and to offer hope to others facing similar challenges. My friends, let us also consider that our God is unchanging and unfailing in nature. His steadfast love and faithfulness are our constant companions through every season. To truly grasp that He is for us, we must also understand that He will never fail us. And in so doing, we must understand His character. God is not like humans who might make promises only to break them when circumstances change. God's promises are as unshakable as His very nature. When He commits to being by our side, He means it for eternity. This assurance enables us to be confident that He is for us and face the uncertainties and challenges of life with a calm heart and a steady spirit, knowing that regardless of what we encounter, God's support remains unwavering. Living with the knowledge that God will never fail us transforms the way we approach every aspect of our existence. It allows us to take bold steps of faith, to dream big, and to pursue our God-given destinies without fear of abandonment. When we stumble or fall, 
As we inevitably will, this promise offers us the strength to rise again, dust ourselves off, and continue the journey. It's a reminder that our failures do not define us in the eyes of God. Rather, His unfailing presence is a testament to our inherent worth and potential in Him. Therefore, let us carry forward the assurance that no matter the trials we face or the mountains we must climb, God's presence and support are guaranteed. God is for us. He is with us every step of the way. His promise is as reliable as the dawn. In every moment of doubt, every season of struggle, and every celebration of victory, may we remember this. Our God will never fail us. My friends, let's carry with us the empowering truth that resonates at the heart of our message. God is for you. So be strong in the Lord. He will never fail you. In every step of your journey through the highs and the lows, remember that you are never walking alone. The Lord stands beside you as a steadfast guide, offering His strength, His love, and His unwavering support. Let this knowledge fill you with courage and hope. When you face the mountains of life, look to Him, draw from His infinite strength, and move forward with confidence. For in the Lord, you have an unshakable support, and with Him, you will navigate the challenges of life not just with endurance but with victory. Be strong in the Lord, my dear friends, for He will never fail you. Now, to all those within the sound of my voice, let us go to the Lord in prayer. I want you to pray this prayer with me so that you can have all the blessings of this prayer. Let us pray to our gracious and loving God. Heavenly Father, Almighty God, I come before you with a heart full of thanksgiving and praise. I acknowledge your greatness, your majesty, and your sovereignty over all creation. You are the Rock of Ages, the King of Kings, and Lord of Lords, worthy of all glory, honor, and praise. Your power is unmatched, your wisdom and love are boundless. I worship you, Lord, for who you are, my fortress, my deliverer, and my strength. Lord, I give you thanks for the gift of life and for the countless blessings you have poured into my life and the lives of my loved ones. I am grateful for your mercies that are new every morning and for your grace that sustains me. Thank you for your unwavering presence and for walking beside me through every trial and triumph. Lord, I ask for your forgiveness for my sins, for the times I have fallen short of your glory. I also choose to forgive those who have wronged me, releasing any bitterness or resentment in my heart. Cleanse me, Lord, and renew a right spirit within me. Father, I stand on your promises, drawing strength from your word. I declare in the mighty name of Jesus that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. I rebuke the spirit of fear, doubt, and discouragement, binding them in the name of Jesus, and I claim faith, hope, and love in my life. Lord, empower me to be strong in you and in the power of your might. Fill me with the wisdom, courage, and strength to face life's battles, knowing that with you, victory is assured. I decree healing over my body, mind, and spirit in the name of Jesus. I pray for your healing touch upon my loved ones. Mighty God, I stand against every attack of the enemy, praying against sickness, depression, financial lack, and strife. I claim protection over myself and my loved ones, asking you to shield us from all harm and to guide our steps. Bless us, Father, with your favor and peace, and may your healing hand touch every area of our lives that needs restoration. Lord, as I say this prayer together with everyone listening, I am grateful for every heart that is opening before you right now. We come in agreement, standing united in faith as we pray for each other. Strengthen us, Lord, to overcome every challenge with grace and to walk in your ways. Fill us with your Holy Spirit, guiding us into all truth and empowering us to live lives that honor you. Bless us, Lord, with your presence. May we experience your profound peace, joy, and love in abundance. Protect us from the snares of the enemy and let your hand be upon us for good. We declare your lordship over our lives, claiming victory over every battle, healing for every wound and sickness, and provision for every need. Let your will be done in our lives and in the lives of my loved ones, for yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering my prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Think of the sun shining above a big, open field. 
Just like the sun is always there in the sky, giving light and warmth every day, God is always with us. Even when clouds cover the sun, we know it's still there. In the same way, even when we face hard times and can't see Him, God stands by us. He's always there, just like the sun shining above. Today, let us explore the unshakable presence of God in our lives. Understanding His guidance, drawing strength from Him, and learning how to live in the light of His unwavering love and support. I am also going to pray a powerful prayer with you in the mighty name of Jesus, so watch until the end and open your hearts to receive the blessings of this prayer. My friends, in Isaiah 41 verse 10, we are reassured, fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. These words are a powerful reminder of God's constant presence and protection. Just as the sun's rays reach out to touch the earth, God's hand is always extended to us, offering strength, guidance, and a steadfast presence in every moment of our lives. With this divine assurance, let us explore the depths of God's ever-present support. Exploring how His unchanging love and strength are our constant companions on this journey of life. Now, let us seek to understand the dynamics of God's presence. God's presence in our lives is an ever-present, life-sustaining force, much like the air we breathe. Invisible to our eyes, yet absolutely essential for our existence. The scripture in Acts 17 verse 28 highlights this truth, for in Him, we live and move and have our being. This profound declaration reminds us that our very existence, every movement, and the essence of our being are deeply intertwined with the presence of God. It's a presence that doesn't fluctuate or diminish. It's constant, unwavering, and always available. We may not always perceive it through our physical senses, but it's as real and vital as the air that we depend on every second of the day. This divine presence goes beyond mere existence. It is the source of our strength, our joy, and our peace. In every challenge we face, God is there, upholding us with His righteous right hand. In moments of joy, His presence amplifies our happiness, reminding us of His everlasting love and care. In times of sorrow or uncertainty, His presence provides comfort and assurance, a reminder that we are never alone, never forgotten. God's presence is not just a backdrop in our lives, it is active and dynamic. It interacts with our lives, shaping our journeys and guiding our paths. It's in the quiet whispers of our hearts, the sudden insights during prayer, the unexpected blessings that brighten our days, and the strength we find in moments of weakness. In every step we take, God is there, walking alongside us. His presence is a constant reminder of His unending love and faithfulness. As we grow in our faith and deepen our relationship with God, our awareness of His presence becomes more profound. We start to recognize His hand in the intricate details of our lives, seeing His work in the beauty around us, in the people we meet, and in the situations we encounter. This awareness brings a deeper sense of peace and contentment, knowing that in every moment of our existence, we are surrounded by the loving, sustaining presence of God. So, how about God's presence in difficult times? In the midst of life's toughest struggles, when the weight of the world seems to bear down on us, it's easy to feel isolated and overwhelmed. The challenges we face can cloud our vision, making us feel as if we are wandering alone in an endless night. Yet, it's precisely in these hard times that God's presence becomes most tangible. Psalm 23 verses 4 to 5 offers profound comfort, saying, Yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. These words paint a picture of a protective shepherd guiding and guarding his flock. Similarly, God walks beside us, his presence a reassuring touch in times of fear and doubt. He's the steady hand that guides us, the comforting voice that quiets our anxieties, and the unwavering light that shines through our darkest hours. His presence transforms our valleys of shadows into journeys of hope and resilience. He doesn't promise a life free from difficulty, but he assures us of his constant companionship and support through every trial. This divine companionship is a beacon of hope, reminding us that no night is too dark for his light to penetrate, and no journey is so treacherous that his hand cannot guide us through. God's presence in our difficulties is not only a source of comfort, but also a wellspring of strength. In moments of weakness, when our own strength seems to fail us, his power is made perfect. 
My friends, the struggles we encounter can often be the very catalysts that deepen our reliance on God, drawing us closer to Him. As we lean into His strength, we find an unexplainable peace and resilience that carry us through. This peace does not come from the absence of trouble, but from the knowledge that God is with us in every circumstance. His strength becomes our shield, His wisdom our guide, and His love our sustaining force. Furthermore, God's presence in hard times shapes our character and refines our faith. Just as gold is purified through fire, our faith is strengthened and refined through the challenges we face. Each trial presents an opportunity for growth, a chance to develop a deeper trust in God's plans and purposes for our lives. These experiences teach us patience, endurance, and hope, molding us into stronger, more compassionate individuals. As we walk through these valleys hand in hand with God, we emerge not only unharmed, but also enriched, carrying with us a testimony of His faithfulness and a renewed spirit of resilience and hope. Next, let us look at recognizing God's guidance. God's guidance in our lives often manifest in ways that are quiet and unassuming, yet their impact is profound and unmistakable. Similar to a gentle breeze that we feel subtly yet surely, this guidance can come in various forms. Through the words of Scripture, the leading of the Holy Spirit, the counsel of a trusted friend, or even through the quiet stirrings of our hearts. Proverbs 3 verse 6 instructs us, In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He shall direct your paths. This scripture speaks of a partnership with God, where our acknowledgement of His sovereignty opens the doors to His guidance. It's about trusting in His comprehensive plan, even when the road ahead isn't clear to our eyes. Recognizing God's guidance in our lives requires an attuned sense of spiritual awareness. Similar to learning a new language, the language of divine communication. Often, God's guidance is revealed not through dramatic or spectacular events, but in the quiet, seemingly ordinary moments of our daily lives. It might be found in the consistent themes that emerge in our daily devotions, the quiet conviction felt during prayer, or the unexpected words of wisdom from someone we meet. These instances, though small, carry with them the profound weight of God's direction. Proverbs 3 verse 6 is not just an encouragement, but a directive to actively involve God in all aspects of our lives. By doing so, we open ourselves to the myriad of ways in which He can guide us. Also, recognizing God's guidance involves an element of patience and waiting. Unlike the instant communication that we've grown accustomed to in our digital age, discerning God's will and direction often requires us to pause and wait. It's in these periods of waiting that our faith is both tested and strengthened. It's important during these times to remain steadfast in prayer and anchored in the Word of God. As we wait, our spiritual ears become more attuned to His voice and our ability to discern His guidance improves. This waiting is an active engagement in seeking God's will, remaining open to His timing and methods. God's guidance often aligns with the gifts and talents He has bestowed upon us. These abilities, though they may seem natural or innate to us, are divine blessings designed to lead us towards God's purpose for our lives. When we use these gifts in service to others and to glorify God, we often find that His guidance becomes clearer. The intersection of our passions, talents, and opportunities to serve can be a powerful indicator of where God is leading us. It's a harmonious blend of our deepest joys and the needs we see in the world around us. Guided by the hand of God, Recognizing God's guidance is a multifaceted process that involves staying spiritually attuned, patiently waiting on God's timing, utilizing our God-given talents, and also engaging with other believers as we navigate through life's journey. These aspects work together to help us discern and follow the path that God has laid out for us. Let us look at some biblical examples of God's guidance. The story of Joseph and Genesis is a compelling testament to the intricate and purposeful guidance of God. Joseph's life, marked by betrayal, injustice, and hardship, could easily be seen as a journey of misfortunes. Yet, through it all, Joseph remained steadfast in his faith, and God's guiding hand was evident. From being sold into slavery by his brothers to being wrongfully imprisoned in Egypt, Joseph endured and God used these very experiences to prepare him for a greater destiny, becoming a ruler in Egypt, saving many from famine. Joseph's story, found in Genesis 37 to 50, is a powerful reminder that God's guidance often unfolds in ways that we might not immediately understand. 
It teaches us that our current struggles or setbacks are not indicators of our final destination. God is at work in our lives, weaving together every experience, every challenge, and every triumph to fulfill His graceful and purposeful plan for us. Another profound example is the story of Moses, called by God from a burning bush. Moses was guided to lead the Israelites out of Egyptian bondage. This journey was filled with obstacles and challenges, yet at each turn, Moses followed God's guidance, and through him, God performed miraculous deeds. These stories from the Bible encourage us to trust in God's guidance, knowing that He is with us every step of the way, turning our trials into testimonies and our challenges into channels of His blessings and glory. And this is why we need to draw from God's strength. Drawing strength from God is a foundational aspect of our spiritual journey, especially in moments when our own strength seems insufficient. Philippians 4 verse 13 captures this beautifully. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. This scriptural promise isn't about possessing an unending supply of physical energy or intellectual capability, but it speaks to a deep, more profound source of strength, a spiritual fortitude that comes directly from our relationship with God. This divine strength is what empowers us to face life's myriad challenges with courage and unwavering faith. It's a reminder that our abilities, when coupled with God's power, can carry us through any situation. This strength from God is particularly evident in times of trial and adversity. It's easy to feel strong when things are going well, but true spiritual strength is most visible in moments of weakness when we're faced with obstacles that seem insurmountable or when we're grappling with problems that appear unsolvable. It's the strength that God provides that helps us to persevere. This strength allows us to remain steadfast in our beliefs even when they're tested and to exhibit grace and forgiveness in situations where it seems hardest to do so. It's a strength that doesn't just help us endure, but enables us to thrive, transforming our trials into testimonies of faith. Also, the strength we draw from God is not just for our personal benefit. It also equips us to be a source of support and encouragement to others. Just as Paul wrote in his letter to the Philippians, this strength is shared so we can bolster others in their times of need. When we lean on God's strength, we become conduits of His power, offering hope and resilience to those around us. Our ability to extend compassion, offer help, and speak words of encouragement is amplified by the strength we receive from God. In this way, our struggles and victories become shared experiences, creating a community of faith that is strong and supportive. In essence, drawing strength from God means recognizing our own limitations and willingly placing our trust in His infinite power. It's about acknowledging that while we may face difficulties and hardships, we are never alone in these challenges. The strength we draw from God is a wellspring of resilience flowing within us and enabling us to overcome any barrier. It's a testament to the unshakable support and enduring power that we have access to through our faith. As we continue to navigate the journey of life, let us do so with the assurance that the strength we need is always available to us, generously provided by a loving and powerful God. My dear friends, let us hold close the understanding that God is always with us. He is our guide through the darkest nights, our source of strength in the face of adversity, and our constant companion through every step of life's journey. Our exploration today affirms that God's presence, guidance, and strength are ever-present in our lives. They are the compass that directs us, the shield that protects us, and the light that illuminates our path. Even in moments when we might feel alone or uncertain, let us remember that God's presence is as sure as the ground beneath our feet and the sky above our heads. His guidance is the map that helps us navigate through life's challenges, and His strength is the anchor that keeps us steady in turbulent seas. With this knowledge and faith, let us move forward, embracing each day with confidence and hope knowing that God is always standing by us. Now, to all those within the sound of my voice, let us go to the Lord in prayer. I want you to pray this prayer with me so that you can have all the blessings of this prayer. Let us pray to our gracious and loving God. Heavenly Father, Almighty and Everlasting God, I come before you with a heart full of praise and thanksgiving. You are the Creator of all, the Eternal King, and the Source of all life. Your majesty and glory surpass all understanding. I praise you, Lord, for you are mighty, and your steadfast love endures forever. You are the unchanging light in our lives and the solid rock on which we stand. Lord, I thank you for your endless blessings, for the breath of life, and for your presence that surrounds me. 
Thank you for being my guide, my strength, and my protector. Thank you for your promises to strengthen me, help me, and uphold me with your righteous right hand. Father, I ask for your forgiveness for my sins. Cleanse me with your grace and guide me in the path of righteousness. I also forgive those who have wronged me, releasing any bitterness and embracing your peace and love. Lord, as I navigate through life, let me always feel your guiding presence, leading me along the right path. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare victory over every challenge I face. I rebuke any form of attack from the enemy. I bind every spirit of fear, doubt, anxiety, and confusion. I declare that I am more than a conqueror through Christ who strengthens me. I ask for your healing touch upon my life and the lives of my loved ones. Heal our bodies, minds, and spirits, and let your power manifest in our lives. Lord, I pray for your protection over us. Guard us from harm and shield us from the snares of the enemy. Lead us away from temptation. I pray for blessings upon our lives. Bless our homes, the work of our hands, and our relationships. I ask for your daily provision in our lives, trusting in your promise to meet all our needs according to your riches and glory. Grant us our daily bread and sustain us with your grace and abundance each day. Let your favor and grace follow us in all that we do. As I say this prayer together with everyone listening, Lord, I am grateful for every heart that is humbled before you right now. We come in agreement as we pray for each other, asking for your guidance, strength, and love to be evident in our lives. As we face life's challenges, help us to remember that you are always with us. Fill us with your Holy Spirit and let your light shine through us. Lord, we claim victory in your name. We speak life and health into every part of our being, trusting in your miraculous power to renew and heal. May every broken spirit be mended, every physical ailment be healed, and every troubled mind find peace in your loving embrace. We give thanks for your protection and guidance. Cover us with your grace and love. May your divine peace settle deep within us, calming our anxieties, soothing our fears, and providing a steadfast anchor in the midst of life storms. Let your will be done in our lives and in the lives of our loved ones, as it is in heaven. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering my prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray, Amen.